you found your way to story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and our friend here has an April Fool's question for you. Has anyone ever April Fooled you? Yes? Do you say gotcha when you do the April Fooling? It's April Fool's Day, and Gilbert is getting pranked by everyone, especially Louis the bully. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Gilbert can outsmart Lewis. And remember, look closely at the pictures. You might be getting April Fool yourself. April Fool, watch out at school by Diane DeGroat. Gilbert woke up and looked at the calendar. It was April 1st, April Fool's Day. He hopped out of bed and started filling his backpack with tricks to play on his friends. His sister Lola peeked in the door and said, Knock, knock, Gilbert answered. Who's there? April Fool, Lola shouted. Gilbert laughed and explained, you're supposed to play a trick on someone, not tell jokes. Okay, Lola said, do a trick on me. But Gilbert didn't have time to play tricks on his little sister. He was already out the door. Gilbert met Patty on the corner. As they walked to school, Patty suddenly said, watch out Gilbert, your shoes untied. Gilbert stopped to tie his shoe, but it was already tied. Gotcha, Patty said. April Fool. Gilbert laughed. He couldn't wait to try that trick on someone else. Principal Pug smiled and waved when he saw them. Morning, good, he said. Day nice a uh, have. He was talking backward. The bell rang and Patty said to Gilbert, up, hurry, let's. Mrs. Bird was not smiling or waving. She said, put away your tricks so we can get started with our reading lesson. Gilbert, please start on page 10. Gilbert stood up and read out loud. Where is my book? Sam asked. I need it now. Mrs. Bird stopped him and said, when someone reads out loud, it would be nice to know where the punctuation marks are. Then she said, here's an idea. When you come to a period, say pop. And when you see quotation marks, say pst. A question mark can be ha. Huh. And the exclamation point is boing. Try it. Gilbert took a deep breath and started over. Pst, where is my book? Huh? Pst. Sam asked, Pop, Pst. I need it now. Boing. Whew, Gilbert said, This is hard. Lewis said, And it sure is funny. Boing. Everyone laughed. Mrs. Bird laughed too and said, thank you for being such a good sport, Gilbert. April Fool. Gilbert sat down and made a loud pfft sound in his seat. That wasn't me, he cried. Somebody put a whoopee cushion there. Gotcha, Lewis said. They finished their reading silently, but Gilbert kept thinking pop and boing whenever he saw a period or an exclamation point. He also kept thinking about how he could play a trick on Lewis. He had hot spicy gum in his pocket, so he turned to Lewis and asked, Would you like a piece of gum, Lewis? No way, Lewis said. Later, Gilbert put a plastic spider on Lewis's desk when he wasn't looking. This is so fake. Lewis said when he handed it back. 
Then he slapped Gilbert on the back and said, your tricks are the worst. But Gilbert wasn't giving up. He still had a few more tricks up his sleeve. He also had a sign on his back that said, I smell. No wonder everyone was snickering as he walked to the cafeteria. Lewis, <sighs> Gilbert grumbled. Before he ate, Gilbert first checked his seat for a whoopee cushion. There was none, so he sat down and opened his lunchbox. Suddenly, he jumped out of his seat and yelled, Ah! There was a worm in his apple. It's just a gummy worm, Patty said. And look, there's a note. The note said, April Fool. It was signed, Mother. <laughs> Gilbert couldn't believe it. Even his mother had tricked him. At recess, Frank said, Watch out, Gilbert. There's a bee on your head. Gilbert swatted at his head while Frank laughed and said, April Fool. Margaret said, Watch out, Gilbert. Your shoe's untied. Gilbert bent to tie his shoe. Made you look, Margaret said. Gilbert sighed. He couldn't believe that he had fallen for that trick twice in one day. Then, Philip shouted, Watch out, Gilbert! But Gilbert wasn't going to be tricked again. He said, I'm not. Before he could finish, a kickball smacked him on the head. I told you to watch out, Philip said. I thought it was another trick. Gilbert groaned as he rubbed his head. This is the worst April Fool's Day ever. Everybody's playing tricks on me, but I can't trick anyone. I told you your tricks were bad, Lewis laughed. <laughs> You'll never trick anyone. Gilbert said, that's what you think, Lewis. I have one more trick I've been saving just for you. Lewis laughed again and said, <laughs> what is it? I'm not telling you. You'll have to wait and see it. Gilbert whispered to Patty what his trick was. Patty said loudly, You're right, Gilbert. That's the best trick ever. Lewis snorted and said, You'll never April fool me. As they walked back into the classroom, Gilbert said, Oh, Lewis, let me hold that door for you. Lewis asked, is this your trick? No, said Gilbert. He held the door open and Lewis walked through very quickly. During spelling, Lewis couldn't find his eraser. Gilbert said, here, Lewis, you can borrow mine. Lewis looked at the eraser and said, is this a trick? No, Gilbert said. But Lewis inspected the eraser very carefully before he used it. When they went to the art table, Gilbert pulled out a chair and said, Here you go, Lewis. Have a seat. Lewis looked at the chair and said, It's a trick, right? No, Gilbert said. But Lewis checked the chair very carefully for a whoopee cushion before he sat down. When Lewis got up to clean his brush, Gilbert said, Be careful, Lewis. Your shoe is untied. Ha! Lewis said, I'm not falling for that old trick. But his shoe was untied, and Lewis did fall when he stepped on the lace. Everyone laughed. I told you it was untied, Gilbert said. I thought it was your trick. Lewis said, tying his shoe. No, Gilbert said, my trick is much better than that. During quiet time, Gilbert brought a book to Lewis and said, I think you should read this, Lewis. I really liked it. Lewis wouldn't take the book. He said, is it a fake book? Is it glued shut? 
Is it going to squirt me when I open it? No, Gilbert said. It's just a really good book. Lewis took the book, but he couldn't concentrate on the story. He kept looking over his shoulder to see where Gilbert was. Lewis was so busy watching out for Gilbert's trick, he didn't see Kenny putting a fake spider on his desk. Lewis screamed when he saw it. Gotcha, Kenny said. And when Patty told Lewis his shoe was untied, he bent to tie it. Gotcha, Patty laughed. And when Lewis sat on his own whoopee cushion and Margaret said, gotcha, everyone laughed. When the bell rang, Lewis finally shouted, I give up, Gilbert. I can't stand it anymore. Do your trick already. Gilbert smiled and said, There isn't any trick, Lewis. I just made you think that there was. You got April fooled. Gotcha. <laughs> was it fun watching Lewis try to guess how Gilbert was going to fool him? Did Lewis ever guess right? No. Would you say Gilbert outsmarted him? Mm -hmm. Well, Bear and I hope you outsmart everyone. But watch out. Anything can happen. Come back soon and see us again for more tricky adventures. Bye for now. <laughs>